بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم نحمده ونصلي على رسوله الكريم أما بعد دارم ديزوش الله أنيز رسول صلى الله عليه وسلم as advisors is not a theory it's not, not a hypothesis it is not based on speculation or trial and error but it is reality and it is certainty and Sahaba radiyallahu anhum had this yaqeen Hazrat Anas bin Malik radiyallahu an was once summoned by Hajjaj bin Yusuf al-Thaqafi so he sent somebody to him and he came to Hazrat Anas radiyallahu an and he said Ajib Amir al-Mu'minin you have been summoned. So he said, Who are you talking about? He said, Hajjaj. He said, Are you talking about Hajjaj? He is not honorable. He should not be honored. Lian al Aziz man Azza. A honorable person is honored through the obedience of Allah. Any person is disgraced bi ma'asiyatillah. Through the disobedience. And Hajjaj Bagha wa Tagha wa Atada that he has rebelled with Allah and he has Khalaf Kitab Allah wa Sunnah he has gotten contrary to what Allah and his Rasul. So he said, Leave all the long stories, come with me, make it short and sweet. So he went with him to Hajjaj. When he came in the court of Hajjaj, he said, and, Anta Anas ibn Malik, are you Anas? He said, yes. He said, are you the one that are making curses against us and swearing us? He says, yes, same person. So he said, Walima, and what's your basis and foundation? He said, you are disobeying Allah, you are going contrary to what Allah and His Nabi has said. You honor the enemies and you disgrace the friends of Allah. So a judge did not like it. He said, Atadri ma ana fa'ilum bika al an. Do you have a clue what's going to happen to you now? What I will do to you? He said, La. He said, La aqtulan naka. Sharra. Qatla. I'm going to desecrate you. I'm going to massacre you. And I'm going to set a lesson. So as Anas radiallahu anhu gave a beautiful answer, he said, لو علمت, لو علمت أن ذلك بيدك لعبدتك من دون الله If I believed that you could do that, then I would have also even worshipped you. If you saying you can kill somebody and power is in your hands, then I would have worshipped you. So I judge again him surprised and he said, Wali madhalika. What are you talking about? How is it possible? If I want to kill you, I'll kill you. So he said that my Nabi Allamani dua, such a powerful dua, man da'a bihi kulla sabahin every morning, lam yakun li ahad alayhi sabil. Nobody can touch him. Wa kadda'autuhu bihi fi sabahi hadha. And this morning I read this dua. So I have no concern. So I just said, teach me, please, please teach me. This dua, he said, Ma'adullah, not possible. How can I teach it to you? And I would not teach it ever. So Hajjaj then said, let him go. So his assistants around him said, Ayyuhal Amir, lana fi talabi kada wa kada yawman. We've been seeking for him, looking for him for a long time. Now that you got him in the palm of your hands in front of you, you can do whatever you want to. You've given the order to release him. So I just said, لَقَدْ رَأَيْتُ I seen on his two sides, أَسَدَيْن عَظِيمَيْن Two big lions with their mouths open. What are you talking about? If I had to try anything, they would have finished me up. 
So Hazrat Anas radiyallahu an, before he passed away, taught the people around him this dua ya. So Sahaba had yaqeen in the words of Janabi Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam and they made amal on that also. Bismillahi rahmani rahim Bismillahi khayri al-asma Bismillahi rabbi al-ardh wa sama Bismillahi alladhi la yadurru ma'a ismi shawn fi al-ardhi wa la fi al-sama Bismillahi iftadahtu wa billahi khutamtu wa bihi amantu Bismillahi asbahtu wa ala Allahi tawakkaltu Bismillahi ala qalbi wa nafsi Bismillahi ala aqli wa dhahni Bismillahi ala ahli wa mali Bismillahi ala ma'atani rabbi Bismillahi al-shafi Bismillahi al-mu'afi Bismillahi al-wafi So the dua we should go to ulama and try to get the detailed dua and if we can memorize it off by heart at least we should have it printed out have an electronic copy and make it part of our daily ma'amulat so that's the knowledge of nubuwa likewise amongst the idea which Nabi has taught us narration Abu Dawood, Tirmizi and they've authenticated it Ibn Hibban Hakim and if I authenticated on the shrine in conditions of Muslim that when you visit a sick person من عاد مريضا لم يحضر أجله فقال عنده and you read this dua seven times أسأل الله العظيم رب الأرش العظيم أي يشفيك say these words here Accept what Nabi alayhi salam said when you read this dua ya Afaahu Allahu min dhalika al-marad Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will protect you from that illness Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala it's as if you will have a resistance an unseen protection and immunity from that disease Likewise, in the riwayat of Tirmizi, وَقَالَ حَدِيثٌ حَسَنٌ And it is a sound narration. Riwayat of Umar and Abu Huraira رضي الله عنهما مَنْ رَعَى صَاحِبَ بَلَائِن If you see somebody inflicted with any calamity, any situation, any sickness, any hardship, any trial and you say this dua ya Alhamdulillahi alladhi aafani min mabtalaka bih wa faddalani ala kathirin min man khalaqa tafzila Alhamdulillahi alladhi aafani min mabtalaka bih wa faddalani ala kathirin min man khalaqa tafzila The person says this dua لَمْ يُسِبْهُ ذَلِكَ الْبَلَى Again, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will protect him from that bala and that calamity. Again, as if we are guaranteed immunization from that sickness, from that calamity as well. So Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is the master doctor. And he will prescribe to us in this world what is needed for the lifetime that a servant has on earth. We need to follow the prescriptions of Allah and His Rasul. They say once there was a person who went to the doctor and uh, he told the doctor, I'm not feeling well. So after the doctor examined him, he came with medication. And he said, take this green tablet with a big glass of water when you wake up. Then take this blue pill after you eat lunch. And then take this red pill with a big glass of water before you sleep. So the man was shocked that I'm getting three tablets, three pills 
every day. So the man was worried and concerned. He said, Doc, exactly what is my problem? So the doctor replied, you're not drinking enough water. You're not drinking enough water. So we're not drinking enough water from the water of Allah. Quran and Hadith is water. Wahi and revelation is water. When we have enough water, it will sustain the suroh in dunya and akhirat. And we'll only know the truth in the qabr after death. Then one realizes the value of every hadith and every ayah of the Quran. He said, I was a patient who came to the doctor and complained. He said, I've been to three other doctors and none of them have agreed with your diagnosis. So they've got the other opinions, they've got other diagnosis, and I'm taking your med medication. So the doctor was very calm and he replied, just wait until the autopsy. Then they will see, I was right. Wait till the autopsy, means after you're dead, when they will do an autopsy, they will realize that I was correct. So likewise in a cupboard also, one will realize and see the truth. We should not wait for that time. Amongst the amal to draw the health and the mercy of Allah, and ulama explain that when a person's amal is correct, conditions will be correct because these amal are going into the heavens. And amongst the amal to remove a bala and calamity is increase in istighfar. So in the hadith, we are encouraged to read morning and evening amongst the most noble of istighfar is Sayyidul Istighfar, the chief, the crown and the climax of istighfar. So a person should read this morning and evening. Allahumma anta rabbi la ilaha illa anta khalaqtani wa ana abduk wa ana ala ahdik wa wa'adik ma istata'tu. A'udhu bika min sharri ma sana'tu abu'u laka bi ni'matika alayya wa abu'u bi dhambi faghfir li innahu la yaghfiru dhunuba illa anta. So a person says this with conviction in the morning for mata. Dakhala al Jannah and he passes away, he's a Jannati. And likewise, he says it in the evening, Famata min laylatihi, and he passes that night, he's a Jannati. Illa wajabat lahul Jannah. Jannah becomes lazim. Besides that, the amal, it's the crown and the climax of istighfar. Likewise, there are other amal we need to see, which is in Quran and Hadith, which is multiplied and which is multifold, which will create maximum reward on this earth, so that these amal go into the heavens. When we Ali Salam went for Mi'raj, he seen something going up and coming down. Jibril explained Ali Salam that this is the amal of your Ummah that is going up to the heavens. And what's coming down is the decision in the fesla based on the actions of your ummah. So we need to search for those amal which will maximize our actions. Among them is to say in the morning and evening, Subhanallahi wa bihamdi. And the riwayat of Bukhari is famous, Subhanallahi wa bihamdi, Subhanallahi al -Azim. At least Subhanallah wa bihamdi Subhanallah al azim daily, let us try to make a habit and niyyah to say it a hundred times morning and evening. So the Rewai says, whoever says it a hundred times, لم يأتي أحد يوم القيامة بأفضل مما جاء به That a person who says this morning and evening a hundred times Nobody will be more superior to him on the day of Qiyamah except one who says exactly the same or has increased in quantity.
So make it our routine minimum 100 and if Allah gives a person tawfiq, then let us increase it. When a person's busy doing the normal tasks also, let us moist our tongue with this dhikr. In another riwayat, غُفِرَتْ لَهُ ذُنُوبُهُ وَإِنْ كَانَتْ أَكْثَرَ مِنْ زَبَدِ الْبَحْرِ all his sins will be forgiven, even if it is more than the foam in the ocean. So this narration, Sahihun ala shatti muslimin, has been authenticated. Likewise, a person who says it, the riwayat, another riwayat, فَإِنَّهَا أَلْفُ hasana. He will get a, hand, a thousand rewards. And another riwayah in Tabrani, إِذَا أَسْبَحَ If a person says, سُبْحَانَ اللَّهِ وَبِحَمْدِهِ أَلْفَ مَرَّةٍ One thousand times فَكَدِ اشْتَرَى نَفْسَهُ مِنَ اللَّهِ He has purchased his soul from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So we have a, a debt with Allah, we have a, a, a act and a transaction with Allah. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has bought our life and our souls in exchange for Jannah. Ya we are told that you read it a thousand times. وَكَانَ آخِرَ يَوْمِهِ أَتِيقَ اللَّهِ And by the end of the day, he will be a freed one from Allah. You, should, you will be a freed mean emancipated from the fire of Jahannam. Likewise, another amal to say hundred times morning and evening. La ilaha illallahu wahdahu la sharika lahu lahu al-mulku wa lahu al-hamdu yuhi wa yumitu wa huwa ala kulli shayin qadir. Whoever says this, he will get the reward of freeing Ten slaves from the progeny of Ismail and a hundred re rewards are recorded in his favor, and a hundred sons are wiped off from his records. And this is a very important virtue. He will be protected from shaitan for the day until the evening. وَلَمْ يَأْتِي أَحَدٌ بِأَفْضَلَ مِمَّا جَاءَ بِهِ And nobody will come on the day of Qiyamah with more superior, more higher stature, more reward than somebody who says exactly the same or increases. رَوَاهُ الْبُخَارِيُّ Muslim, A authentic narration. And in another narration also is mentioned وَكُنَّ لَهُ مَسْلَحَةً مِنْ أَوَّلِ النَّهَارِ إِلَىٰ آخِرِهِ And thus will be a weapon for him from the time he read it in the morning till the evening. وَلَمْ يَعْمَلْ يَوْمَ إِذٍ عَمَلًا يَقْهَرُهُنَّ And he would not have done any other deed that will be able to overpower them means the virtues of this is so great and so noble. So these are amal that are very short and easy. Let us try to practice on that. Amongst the other amal is morning evening to say, Rabbi Allah la ushriku bihi shay'a wa ashadu an la ilaha illallah. The person who says this morning and evening غَفَرَ اللَّهُ لَهُ ذُنُوبَهُ His sins will be forgiven. Likewise, a person who says three times morning and evening رَضِيتُ بِاللَّهِ رَبَّا وَبِالْإِسْلَامِ دِينًا وَبِمُحَمْرٍ صَلَّى اللَّهُ صَلَّى النَّبِيَّ وَرَسُولًا Then فَأَنَ الزَّعِيمُ Nabi alayhi salam is saying I am his guardian, I am his protector, and I am his guarantor. I will make sure that he goes into Jannah. This is 
the Nabi of Allah taking responsibility for he being a Jannati. Another riwayat, وَكَانَ حَقَّنَ عَلَى اللَّهِ أَنْ يُرْضِيَهُ Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala takes responsibility to please this person. So this is an authentic narration in Abu Dawud, Tirmizi, Wa Hassanahu, Ruawu Ahmad. So it just takes three times morning and evening, but it is power packed. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala give us tawfiq of making amal wa akhiru da'wana anilhamdulillahi rabbil alameen.